e ma le ni beyen o ni le loko e siku dede asiko yi hello everyone it's adironke again i hope your day is going well today i'll be translating this song the rendition of the song that is on youtube is by abilono so this rendition is copyrighted to them and i won't be playing it in this video because i tried and ooh, it was a close safe so um i won't be playing the song but this is the song if you go to this video and you listen to the song from about well it's the first song till about like one minute 25 seconds in from the very start to like one one minute 25 seconds this the song is there the song that i'll be translating is there the rendition is there so i can't <laughs> i can't fight and i don't want them to take down my video because there'll be no point of making this video and uploading it so i wouldn't even be including their audio at all but um i suppose i should try to sing it a little bit uh yikes <laughs> Um Ayaba o ya mi lo ya o ya mi lo ya o ya ye we ko wa ile o ya mi lo ya o ya ye we ko wa ile o ya mi lo o ya mi lo ya o ya ye we ko wa ile o ya mi lo ya o ya ye we ko wa ile o ya mi lo ya somewhat like that so again it's a song for Oya an Afro-Cuban song and it's between the first few seconds and about one minute 20 seconds into the video and these are the words of the song in Yoruba in the song is in Lukumi and Lukumi is Yoruba but with Spanish influences somebody gave me a definition in one of my recent videos it's Yoruba but diluted with Spanish there are no tonal the tones are gone because of the Spanish influences and The, some letters are, are different so we would say ibeji you know they would say ibeyi we would say oshun in lokomi it's ochun ochun uh anyway with letters like the j and the she sound and the you have like replacement spanish letter replacements so that's pretty much but it's yoruba i i can understand lukumi i may not be able to speak it in a spanish accent but i can i can speak it too um well because i can speak yoruba i suppose and uh yeah these are the words oya miloya oya miloya oya yewe kiowaile oya miloya those are the words in the video Ayaba is um, the wife of the presider. Aya, Oba, those are the two words that are combined to form Ayaba. Aya, Oba. Aya is wife. Yes. Not in the exact way, but you. the closest translation to Aya is wife. Oba is the one who presides over. So the presider or the ruler. So the presider or the ruler. Ayaoba, the wife of the presider or the ruler, the queen. The next line of the song is, well, it goes Ayaba. The Ayaba is like an intro. Oya, then Oya, Miloya. In Yoruba, this would be instead of. I don't know how it's said in Luku. <laughs> So much for boasting that I can speak Lukumi. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think they say Ayaba too. Maybe not in the exact like Ayaba. 
<laughs> maybe not the exact way but um i should probably had like look me to my linkedin another flex <laughs> i'm kidding um I don't know how it's said in Lukumi exactly. I don't remember, but Ayaba is how we would say it in Yoruba. Ayaba, Ayaba, Ayaba. And, you know, they say uh, in Lukumi, they say Oya. We say it's Oya. It's Oya. It's just, uh, there's no need to go into the historical reasons why the there were dilutions in the language and like it dates back to slavery and all that so i think if you're watching this video you might have a clue anyway oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah me lo yeah oh yeah me lo yeah oh yeah me lo yeah so oh yeah me oh yeah is you know the date see the um the <laughs> the soulmate of Shogo, the shape shift. Oh yeah, as many things aside like this angry woman sulking for, uh, sulking because some children died by a tombstone. Uh, and whenever she opens her eyes, lightning and thunder comes out of it. <laughs> like I said in my previous video, when I made the video on it, yeah way yeah way the diasporian oya is <laughs> she's she's i think oya is really really misrepresented and the reason is simple you know a lot of people come from um believe well especially with the diaspora and slavery and all that we've somewhat imbibed other practices or other mindsets into our lives so there has to be like a there has to be a box so this is the one that osho is the one that i want that i want as my avatar for sweetness and i want oya to be my avatar for when i'm sad that my i don't know when i'm mad at my ex and i need to do something or and oh yeah is for uh, sorry or sure is for when i'm in a relationship and this one is for when i'm you know we want to put this <laughs> dates into our own boxes but uh i don't know what i was saying before i mentioned that but yeah she's much more than she's much more than that that box i don't remember what i wanted to say oh yeah me is my oya. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, me is my oh yeah. Oh yeah, I was able to shape shift to several animals in her lifetime. If you have mastery of hair and you are you can create <laughs> and you would think of Ishi when you think of this as well. You can sort of disappear and appear and many things that a magician will be able to do or the the magic the modern magicians wildest dreams you can do then it's it's oh yeah i was able to i think that was that was one of probably one of the reasons why she and shogu just like <laughs> because she's hair she has like hairy so a communication i think as the story goes how she and shogo met she was praising him and like he was like oh my goodness so she had oratory skills she and she gave shogo his powers a lot of a lot of shogo's powers came from oya but that's by the way um she she was just very charismatic and very entertaining. Not scary, not <laughs> the tombstone Oya <laughs> pain. Not what you see. I think that's why nobody wants to be Oya's child <laughs> in the modern world. Well, I can't say nobody, but the vast majority, they will rather fantasize about like being an Oshu than an Oya just because of the paintings that they see. Very, just grossly. Uh, misrepresented very charismatic when she wants to be 
serious she's really serious and she, when she wants to be entertaining and jovial you know very very sweet energy as well she's not mean it's not a meaning um let me go to the translations and stop getting distracted oya me is my oya oya me oya me is my oya in the yoruba language adjectives come after nouns so this is an adjectival pronoun my oya oya me lo lo is a contraction of two words ni o ni o ni o ni is say you an adjective uh, uh, i said adjective no a synonym will be we oni kinwa o we pe oh yeah well o we pe or o pe kinwa so uh we pe so many times shortened to pe depending on the sometimes you would use we instead sometimes you would say pe but we pe uh the uh, what what other synonym for ni exists but ni is say ni is say o is it or it is o it o it could be e could be she could be it depending on the context in this context it is it is <laughs> ya is fast or quick or i put time in quotation marks because of the it is time oh yeah is it is time i in one of my recent videos i differentiated between oya oh yeah and oya oh yeah because since people don't write oya oh yeah properly as two separate words and they write it together it confuses a lot of <laughs> oya oh yeah devotees on tiktok they're always like well that's is she oya yeah? is her name oya oh, yeah? oh, like, but what the person means is oya oh, yeah? oya oh, yeah? so i differentiated between both oya oh, yeah? is it is time you know it is time that's why so it is time to be fast it is yeah in and of itself is fast or quick you know oya oh, yeah, is it is time or it is time to be quick or it is time to be fast think it can fit into varying contexts so uh oya miloya my oya says it is time oya miloya my oya says it is time or said it is time depending you know oya mini oya if you want to in this case in this uh form Oya mi loya. You would translate it as my oya said it is time. If you want to say says, you typically have to in include mm, but it can also just because this is older Yoruba, it also works for my oya says it is time. Oya mean well, and also there's the dialectical thing. Oya mini oya oya min loya oya min loya no actually never mind oya min sokoya oya min sokoya oya min oya min loya oya min loya but oya mi loya actually works for either says or said in this context if you want to translate it exactly you could say said but it also works for says you know my oya says it is time oya mi loya my oya said it is time my oya says it is time oya mi loya and then the next line in the song is oya yewe ko waile oya mi lo oya yaewe ki o waile I included C here because in modern Yoruba, this is somewhat, well, it's not even modern Yoruba, even in older Yoruba, in correct Yoruba, there's a problem with saying wa ile. You could say wale, 
you could say wale but wa ile this i will explain it oh yeah yeah we kill wa si ile or in the song as it appears kill wa ile oh yeah mother of children i explained yeah we in detail in my previous video yeah we yeah we oh yeah yeah we ko wa ile yeah we so yeah we i explained it in my video but it's pretty much or oh, your yeah, mother of children and then iya is mother ewe is children or youth you know so ewe ewe iya ewe mother of children iya ewe and then ki is that o is you wa is come si is to the oh, there's a clarification Thing that I'm going to do here and then ile is home or oh, yeah mother of children that you come home why did I include C here why didn't I just leave it the way the song is and say why ile why did I include C well what is both come and look for so what mon why I'm looking for you. Wa is also come. Wa is both come and look for. <laughs> so when we want to combine it with a noun, we typically, okay, I'll show you. If you say wa ile, what it comes off as is look for home. If you say wa ile, that you should oh yeah can't be saying it's time for you to look for a home oh actually i think come home <laughs> i think come if oh, this is a very spiritual song you know this is a very deep so i think the first time i heard it i i burst into tears you know it's because there's a longing for home. There's an obvious longing. I don't know who composed the song, really. I know that it's not... I don't think Ab Abilono composed it or Baba Lazaro. Oh, yeah, can be saying look for home, right? I don't think that's what... Why lay it would be look for a home, you know? But if you want to differentiate look for a home from come home, Ile is home or house, home. If you say why ile, you want to differentiate between why ile look for a home and come home, you would include si, wa si ile. So it would be come to the home. Si is like to the. So wa si le, wa si le, wa si le or wa si ile. You include si, come to the home but you can shorten it you can shorten both so if you say wale if you say wale you could be saying come home or well depending on the context came home so if you see someone whose name is like ola wale you know wealth came home or aje wale aje you know aje is wealth she's abundant she's many things the energy of the deity aje come home or oh, aje came home then it means when the child was birth the parents just found that they were just getting money or perhaps it has something to do with their akose jaye and how the the babies akose jaye and how their presence is going to open many doors like there are many reasons why a child would be given that name uh why wale you could say wale for both look for home and come home so you could say wale for both look for home wale wale look for home and you could say wale come home but if you want to extend it like that we typically would just say wale look for a home or wale look for a home and wasi ile come to the home so if, if they had said Oh yeah, yeah, we kowale. Perhaps when they were composing the song, perhaps that is not the original tone that it, you know, uh, 
<laughs> initial initial ancestors that sang the song perhaps that's not the tone they used so the group thought let's just take wale perhaps in the original song it was wale but they thought let's split wa and ile i don't know i'm just guessing and they probably thought that it worked well that way grammatically when you if you say oyayewe kowale oyayewe kowale i was trying to see if i could like sing it the yoruba way but if i there are lots of songs that will lose their their rhythm if you try to sing them in yoruba so we would have to compose new rhythms for them uh wale come home wale look for home but if you are going to split it wa ile look for home wa si ile come to the home and then the last uh okay so oyayewe kowai kowasi le but in the song it says oyayewe kowai le or your mother of children that you come to the home or ya mother of children that you come to the home or that you come home i'm trying to see if it it actually also works <laughs> if you say why actually i have to be honest it doesn't but i don't know if there's a dialect that it works in c is an important preposition that probably got lost in transit or you know as a result of the different factors was not remembered but it doesn't really work what c is to be included oh yeah yeah we go oh yeah oh how how would i sing it in pure in your in a your battle oh yeah oh yeah yeah we go it doesn't work <laughs> i would have to figure that out later but yeah or your mother of children that you come home and if you listen in at some point there's also uh, a mention of oya biku oya biku oya biku as well you know what what does that mean b is eject iku is death oya bi iku oya bi iku oya who ejects death so oh yeah be cool if you want to uh say it's in a different in suppose you could say modern yoruba you know and include prepositions and other oh yeah tion biku oh yeah tion biku oh yeah who ejects when mm is included it in indicates that the sentence is in present form or present continuous so oya tio mbiku oya oya who ejects death oya biku but oya biku works in nigeria you 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 would hear oya dolu oya dolu oya who became the head you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's a there's a story about how like there were 16 orishas who or ya don't know if if she sent them away from shago's abode or something like that i don't know the full story maybe i don't know what i'm talking about maybe there's a story like that about her like she's she was just a warrior you know but doesn't mean that she was like this depressed soul you know I, and i can also see why they needed oya to be the like the then i can see why our ancestors who were taken to this foreign land you know f zeroed on the you know protector of the dead preventer of death you know aspects because it's like especially at its initial stage before the freedoms were given it was like i don't know if this stupid slave master is going to order them to hang me on a tree you know tomorrow i think there was just this fear of not they needed 
uh, a, a figure that would that would calm the affairs regarding that like our mother is our mother will protect us from death but even if we do die our mother would usher us into the next stage of our of our lives or or lack thereof you know i can like, even with the motive with only with many things that are you know mirrored on in all these different parts of the world it's not hard to see why like they would have needed this zeroing in or this slight modification or this slight addition or this juxtaposition especially like with santeria and all that it's not hard to see why. Um, Oya Dolu, Oya who D is become. Olu is the head, the one in charge, the superior. Oya who became the head, B, is vomit or to shove off forcefully. Bidano, Bikuro, to prevent, to protect against. So Oya B Iku, Oya B Iku. Oya be iku oya that oya who protects against death you know the our, our mother our, our, the one who protects us from i suppose <laughs> death would have been like the most scary thing then you know <clears throat> our ancestors went through a lot a whole lot wow um and some of us are ancestors returned as well. The cycle, pretty interesting. Oyatiom bi iku. Oyatiom bi iku. Oyatiom bi iku as well. You know, if you extend it. If you don't want to say oya biku and you and you want to say like a full uh like a sentence, I suppose. You want to string it together. Oya tiom that be protects against iku death or yeah that protects against death or ya tom biku or ya ti on bi iku or yeah that protects against death if you say oh yeah biku you're right oh yeah bi it's somewhat like oh yeah dolu oh yeah biku i don't know if you can even like string it together as one word but yeah, if you want to just elongate the sentence a bit, I don't know why you would want to. I suppose you would want to. Oh yeah, that. But oh yeah, tiom biku, you know. Oh yeah, biku in its actual form is oh yeah, protected against death. Oh yeah, protected against death. But if you string it together like a name, like oh yeah, dolu, you know, then if so, so, it's older yoruba. In older Yoruba, I suppose less prepositions were used. You know, I think older Yoruba has like really few prepositions. So, and this was pre even pre slavery. You know, Oya Tiong Biku Tiong. We now include. Mm, mm, I suppose our ancestors did as well, even in older Yoruba, you know. But yeah, I suppose it's dialectical that sometimes some pronouns, some prepositions will be omitted. Oya tiombiku, oya that protects against death. Then you may also hear oya bimi, oya bi. No, <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> oya bimi, <laughs> oya bimi. Oya be Oya be me is Oya asked me, which is what is in the song. Oya be me, Oya be me, something like that, you know. <laughs> but in proper Yoruba, it's Oya be me, Oya be be is birth, me is me. Oya who birthed me? It's Oya birth me, but you would include the the. Is it? pronoun now preposition yikes my english language maybe preposition or maybe determiner <laughs> i don't remember oh yeah who birthed me oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah be oh yeah be me oh yeah be me 
Oya be me. Oya be me. Oy, or is if you could even like bear this name, you know. Oya be me. Oya birth me. Oya be me. Oya birth me. Sort of connotes like Oya is my mother. You know, kind of another way to say Oya is my mother, but as a name, you can combine all the words as one. Oya be me. Oya be me. Oya birth me. Oya who birth me. So anyway, in in conclusion, the song is this. Um, Ayaba Oya Miloya Oya Miloya. Oya yewe kowaile, oya miloya, oya yewe kowaile. The song is Ayaba, oya miloya, oya miloya, oya yaewe kiowasile, oya miloya. Ayaba, oya, ayaba oya, so like queen oya. Ayaba, in the song they went Ayaba. Oh yeah, me loya. So that's why. I, but Aya Baoya, Queen Oya. Queen Oya. So Aya Baoya, me loya. Oya, me loya. Oya, ye we kiwa si le. Oya, me loya. Queen Oya says it is time. Oya says it is time. Oya, the mother of children, for you to come home. Oya says it is time. So in summary, the song is just saying. Oya says it's time to come home and it's a very <laughs> it's a very emotional song very emotional song very emotional song very so it's somewhat like our mother misses us misses us being home or like I don't know if home here would be Nigeria, present day Nigeria, Africa. I don't know if home here will be Africa or maybe home within like maybe I I don't know what function this song served. Maybe like it's time for us to get together and perhaps they had like a place where they would relax and it would be like a I don't know, but I strongly feel that the song is. Maybe come to her. Maybe not even necessarily Africa. Maybe not necessarily like come back home to Nigeria. Or maybe find your way home. To, I don't know. I don't know. But this is what the song says. I suppose it's up to you to decide what it means to you. I don't want to. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to guess. Or you know. Lose the. Make you make you lose the fascination. That the song you know encourages but yeah queen oya says it queen oya says it is time oya says it is time oya the mother of children for you to come home oya says it is time that's the song so if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask i'll be happy to respond to your questions thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one Oh, yeah, my bank out.